Welcome back, everybody. We are here in the ninth episode of the Parkland Podcast. Today, I'm very, 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 very excited to be joined by uh, some basketball players here. We got Nick Koval, Jaden Thomas, Zaire Smaltz, and Robbie Roosh. Uh, thank you guys for coming on. Uh, really excited to have you. Um, how excited are you guys to be on this podcast? We'll go with you first, Nick. Uh, very excited. You know, I listen to the JJ Reddick podcast all the time. So, mm -hmm. uh, to kind of feel like him right now, so I'm very excited. You don't shoot like him, uh, <laughs> not at all. Uh, how about you, Jay? You know, I'm stoked. Uh, what's a better place in the world than being on a parking podcast? I don't know. Not many places. How not about many. you, Z? Oh, this guy put me on the spot. You know, it's a great place to be. You know, join the parking podcast. I just got my time to shine. You're, you're, really, you're really happy. You're smiling a lot there. I know. I'm cheese. I'm cheese. I'm blushing. I've never <laughs> seen you smile this much, dude. Yeah, I'm usually a very studious guy. Nonchalant. Yeah, yeah. yeah nonchalant. Yeah. Probably lonely. I mean, Rob, you you don't seem that excited. Are, no, are no, excited? no. This is a, it's a great podcast. I mean, it's all right, I guess. I don't watch it's it. All right. <laughs> it's all right. I don't watch it. But, you know. Oh, okay. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, the honesty. Yeah, exactly. We I really got you. do appreciate you. that. If you guys don't mind, I think uh, we'll start off with some questions here. Uh, let's do that same order then for these questions that we just did. So we'll go like up because some of these are general. Some of them I'll ask specifically, but this one's general. Uh, what are you guys most excited about for this season? Uh, we got a lot of seniors. We're really old. And uh, I think if we put all that together, with all our experience, uh, we had a chance to be really good mm -hmm. and do a lot of special things. So, you know, I'm just really excited about our seniors and our group together. We have great chemistry. You know, after games, we're always together. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to having a lot of fun. You guys hang out with Rob? Uh, yeah, even we, we actually do hang out with Rob. They, so. we do, we don't they just like pretend Rob. to be my friends. <laughs> we don't like Rob. Yeah. That's a pretty tough task to hang actually, out with Actually, unfortunately, post-game meal, we're forced to hang out with them. Well, that's so, a shame. But yeah. Well, I wouldn't really, really say force. I, you get the privilege. You know? <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, Rob. Jay, what, what oh, are you okay. excited about for this season? You know, I'm very excited to be led by Mr. Davidson himself. It's, it's Mr. Davidson, the do you want to explain that to the, to the viewers? This is Mr. Davidson right here. Mr. You Davidson. Know. What? What? Where does that nickname come from? You know, he committed to Davidson. He's trying to live on under Steph Curry's path. You know, he can't create his own path. He's usually a guy wow. that follows up on people. So. That's a brutal shot here. Who would I follow up on here? Uh, I don't know. Not really. Maybe Sam Iorio, living in his shadow a little mm. bit. Wow. But. Zaire, what do you think about what was the question again? <laughs> I kind of forgot. You're falling asleep on the pod. We just started. <laughs> nah, just just thinking. Just Mr. Davidson Glaze was just crazy off the bat. It was crazy. Crazy. Was it? Nah, it was All great. Right, well, let me just ask you the original question. What are you most excited for about this year? Oh, I'm play with my fellow friends. You know, there's some guys I do not like on the team. We're not going to say any names, but you gotta you gotta play with them. You know, you gotta make the most Don't of it. Don't talk about Eddie like that. Bro, Eddie's, Eddie's a cool guy. <laughs> I did think you were talking about Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Love you, man. Can we pause? He's not watching. He's not watching. Mr. Host, how do you feel about Eddie? How do I feel about Eddie? <laughs> yeah. Like Edgardo Paz Romero, the basketball player? Yes. Yeah. I think he's a great guy. I think he's always uh, again after it. Um, <laughs> I do think that... Uh, can we give our true intentions toward this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I think if he wants to see me in the ring, he can see me in the ring. Okay. Oh, box night. Yeah, I, I do think we could take on that challenge. Uh, Rob, what are you excited for this year? Uh, you know, uh, I'm hyped to get back-to-back uh, -back this trip, you know? Can't wait to get carried by this guy. Yeah, you don't do any of the work, dude. I don't. I, I, and you don't either, Jaden. I don't think anybody. It's all Mr. Davidson, isn't it? Yeah, it's just we do what he says. Oh my God, bro! Everything he says, we do. We might as well just like not play the rest of the season. Just let him just one let him one v five. Yeah, exactly. They do, not speak for the, they do not speak for the rest of us. I think. Well, I mean, oh, no, we should definitely try it against him. I mean, so he, he shoots the ball not. every time anyway. So like, why not let him go one v five? Well, sometimes Zayir exactly. shoots the ball. What do you? He <laughs> doesn't usually go in. Then he gets yelled. Good joke. Good joke, Mr. Host. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a wise saying from a very wise man. Uh, we put the orange ball in the round circle. I'm not going to say who that guy is. Rob, who was that guy? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say names, but... Uh, oh, we're not saying names. We he may or may not teach you. Okay. There might be a teacher here that knows a thing or two about putting the ball in the circle. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> the orange circle. I'll start with you, Nick. Who's the most handsome on the team? Most handsome on the team. Well, it's not a, you with that easy. black eye. Uh, tell you that much. <laughs> huh. Good question. Great question. It's definitely not Luke Spang. <laughs> He's probably last on my he, list. He might be really low. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. 
I don't, I'm not sure. I think you gotta give me a name. It gotta give you a name. Derek. Derek. What's his last I name? I was not expecting. Derek no. Gigan Fuwem. Yeah. I, I think he lost. Derek Gigan Fuwem. Yeah, definitely. Obviously. Great guy. Who do you think, Jaden? You know, I honestly think it's this man sitting right back here. Uh, wow. As he runs up the court, his oh elegant God. dreads flopping <laughs> up and down. We get a uh, zoom in here when we edit this. Zoom in on him. You yeah. know, pretty attractive. You love seeing the hair flop up and down as we run up and down the court. Yeah, that's What's true. What's better than that? Not a lot. Who do you think, Z? You think yourself? Uh, no, no. no. Got to stay humble, gotta, oh, gotta stay humble, humble in these handsome. situations. Wow. Uh, I think it's our, our our glue guy, also known as AKA Draymond Green, Connor Johns. Connor. He's a very handsome man. You know, shout out to Bella Desideria on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, yo, that's foul. Perfect, that's perfect, good perfect looks. Perfect couple right there. Uh, she's lucky enough to have a, such a good looking guy. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Is she really lucky though? I mean, yeah. apparently he's handsome, don't you think? Oh, starting <laughs> off some beef here. You wouldn't, well, you wouldn't say all that? You know, different people are entitled to different things. Respectful. Rob, who do you think? You know, uh, I'm gonna have to piggyback off of what Z said and uh, go with Connor Johns. You know, wow. the the elegant, elegant curls in his hair. You know, he, you can't beat it. Can we? Uh, we're kind of slandering Michael Toth. He's a very handsome guy. He is up there. He five, is up five there. Five zero. He feels five zero. Oh, what about O Block? O Block. O Block. O Block. O Block. You got all oh. these nicknames. Yeah. Or you can go with EPR. By the way, nah, Rob, Rob is yeah. bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> there's no well, debate. Well, that was the next it. question. Who do you guys think is the least handsome? Oh, Rob, Rob? is. There's not even a close race with the last. It's Rob. Right. Can, can, Rob we, can we like Nick, speak the truth here, please? I, I think Luke. Can, can you stop lying? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you said Luke. I'm, I'm gonna go with Jaden Thomas because no, oh, this guy. just seems personal. That doesn't seem like a genuine answer. No, no, answer. no. It, it is genuine. Speaking of getting personal, can we talk about you and Luke Spang's beef? Because there's clearly something going on here. <laughs> yeah, we have no beef, man. Can we talk about how Nick got absolutely killed yesterday by number one? Oh, dude. Come on, dude. He like nine points. Nine points. That's yeah. a lot of points. That's that amazing. Is how you're at in the first game. <laughs> is that is that true? That is true. That is true. I did not know. Sager, who do you think is the ugliest on the team? I'm not. Sorry. Least attractive. Least attractive. <laughs> you know, these are all my boys. I'll say myself. You know, well, I don't want to say didn't that. think that. I, I, I won't say anybody else because I think everybody's a great looking person. So I'll, mm -hmm. I'll rather put myself down to anybody else. So humble guy. Be, be, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. I got you. Can we let our true color show on this podcast? Can we not <laughs> yeah, switch please. up? Can we not switch up <laughs> for the viewers? Switch. We are Let's genuine on this podcast. We are. And I'm being, I'm being I'm going to say Luke Spang's the ugliest. No, oh, I agree. I'm I starting agree. to agree with that more and more. Yeah. Rob, Rob and Luke are. It's, it's a close one. Race, a, one B. Right? Yeah. It's a close I feel that. All right. This one, we're going to go just for you, Nick. Uh, how do you feel about the coaching change? And as a team, how do you get the group to like adjust to that? You know, Coach Olson has been great so far. Mm -hmm. You know, starting with the summer workouts, he's been great. Uh, he he demands excellence from us every single day, and uh, he gets on us sometimes when we don't want him to. But you know, it's all part of good coaching. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, obviously, Coach Deans is a great coach. Uh, we have a lot of great memories with him, but I think Coach Olsen has been great. I like that answer. Uh, Jay, uh, this one, I need you to explain to the people, uh, what was your injury that you endured last season, and what was the hardest thing about overcoming that injury, and are you proud of where you're at now with it? Uh, yes, I am proud of where I'm at now. I fractured my tibia, mm -hmm. got five screws in that bad boy. It's a lot of screws. Um, the hardest part was obviously – not playing, yeah. but you know, I had a great group of guys around me that kept me motivated and happy to be there. You consider Rob one of the great ones? Oh, no. He's no. everybody else but Rob. Jake, can you stop lying, bro? He's not a great guy at all. You literally say every day how much of a great guy I am. Not me. I'm sure that was a, it was pretty hard on you mentally, just like not being able to play, obviously. But you definitely learn a lot about yourself when you go through something like that, right? Yeah, you do. You get to like, you find yourself in a way because you don't, I wasn't doing what I loved. Exactly. So had to find other ways to be happy. Mm -hmm. uh, Z, we're going to go over to you. Do you feel like you're a confident player and do you feel like you've gained more confidence over time? Um, so far, I don't think I've been, you know, shooting as confident as, well, well hold on, stuttering. As the season has begun, I think I'm going to settle more in. I mm -hmm. think I'm still a little bit nervous. Not okay. as confident as I was over the summer. Okay. But, you know, it could change. But I feel like, hey, we're winning. So mm -hmm. if I'm not scoring that much, it's all right. Hopefully later I could. But 
it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, and confidence doesn't always like directly show through like scoring or anything. Just like just any way you play, like whether you're getting rebounds or whatever, a lot of ways to showcase that. I think. Uh, Rob, how does hitting a three in front of the student section compare to scoring a touchdown? Well, what, he doesn't really hit many. Let's just start there. But well, continue. That was rare times when you score a touchdown, and those rare times when you hit a three. What? What are you what are you ranking them? Like? Well, you know, uh obviously uh you know, a touchdown's more, you know, exciting. You think so? I, I would say so. But you know, considering I haven't caught a touchdown in like the past four months. <laughs> that was a while ago. But you did. You caught I, I did. You caught two two weeks in a row. Yeah. And then that was about and, it. And, that was and about then, it. And then Spang was done throwing to me. Well, so, all right. well I think he was you know, done you throwing do, everyone. You. Couldn't really no, other no, than, wow. Other than the wow. defense. Wow. He threw to the defense oh, oh. exceptionally well. Guys, wow. let's, let's, let's have a pact here of not talking about that game where he was uh, not playing like Luke Spang. Well, we can't, we can't slander a man that's not here to defend himself too much. Well, but how much, no, how much can you really probably. defend yourself if you throw the ball to the other team? <laughs> that is true. It wasn't wow. like he was playing wow. for the right team. Okay, okay. Oof. Wow. Oh, wow. it's a great time, by the way. Oh. Just found this water bottle, a Amada Senior Care. Great senior care living in Lehigh Valley, you know, reliable. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, modest senior care living, the best. If you need somewhere to put your grandparents, that's the spot. That's the spot. Wow. That's the spot. Guys, who do you think is the funniest on the team? Who wants to answer first? This is no debate. No debate. I think we all have the same answer. Can you give us the answer, Z? I yeah. think I, I, I'm going to say I'm going to go with. Either two people, top two after you know last. Well, you just said it's no debate, and now you have yeah, two people. Yeah, well, because so. now, now think about it. Now think about it. It's Eddie or Chase at the last two games. Eddie or Chase. You know, I, I think you might disagree because you know you and Eddie aren't really that <laughs> that tight. But you're gonna go Ed? No, I'm not gonna go Ed. Who are you gonna? I, go? I might say Chase. Chase is a pretty oh, funny really? guy. Mm-hmm. You know, new player to the team. You know, Mike brings a lot of laughter because we mess with him a lot. All right, let's stop there. <laughs> brings a lot of laughter. Well, that that wouldn't make him funny. That wouldn't make him funny. He's yeah. just, we don't, he's not funny. We just laugh at him. Which, which makes him <laughs> funny. That's crazy. <laughs> he's not going to be happy when he sees really this. Really that's all I'm going to say. I'm just saying, what happens? Just, Bang's not going to be happy when he sees this. <laughs> Do you think he was happy when he threw picks to the other team? <laughs> Yo, <unbelievable>. We were <laughs> taking shots today. I'd say Ed. 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 Yeah, Rob. Uh, you know, uh, Owen Rogers is definitely up there. You know, really? he's, yeah, he's a great guy. You know, underrated uh, pick. Yeah, no, he's definitely he's definitely the underdog in this yeah. in this show here. But uh, you know, I I'll say Owen Rogers. It's a good answer. It's a good answer. Uh, what type of music do you all listen to pregame? More of like a rock and roll kind of guy. Oh, like yeah. Machine Gun Kelly. Like, blast my eardrums out pregame with Machine Gun Kelly. Yes. What's your favorite Machine Gun Kelly song? You know, I'm not really sure of the names. I just I just blast the songs. Nah, oh, okay. Me too, honestly. Yeah. How about you, Nick? I don't listen to music before games. Oh, my it's God. a it's a Davidson rule: no music before the games. Really? No, it's not. It's not. What um? So what do you do? Do you just think about like just, the task at hand? Yeah. You just like focus. Uh, I'm not quite like that. You know, I do my dynamic stretching with mm-hmm. Jaden, and then I just dynamic. lock in. You, you guys dynamic do? stretch together. We do. Is that <laughs> yeah. a common thing? Like you do that all the time. Uh, yeah, like twenty four seven. Like <laughs> you're, or what, what's the time frame? It's on more, that? it's more of a pre game thing, but you know. Can we get an example? Yeah, actually. Uh, uh, no, you kind of need a lot of space for a dog. No, Xander's shaking his head. Yeah, no, no, yeah, we can we can move some stuff around. Can we see a downward dog? Uh, that's that, yeah, I, yeah, that's I, not dynamic that's, that's not dynamic stretching. <laughs> I just want to see the. Do you guys mind dog. dynamic stretching real quick for us? I think you should hit one. Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, just, so, all, right, all right, we're going to see a dynamic so stretch here. Is, Pre-game Nick Koval. Right, I'm not doing this alone. Get up. What? I don't no, know what we're doing. All right, let's go. Sorry. First one is, you know, the high knees. Yeah. High okay. Knees. You know, oh, okay, okay. If you want to get the hips nice and stretched out, you hit yeah. this one. Lunges. I could see that. Lunges. Yes. Mm-hmm. This. Oh, some tiptoes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we get ones where you guys, like, stretch each other out? Oh, uh, we don't do that. That's not very dynamic. Oh, like a mic to Yeah, ask them. I got it. You know, skip for height. Oh, yeah. Skip for height. That gets your legs nice and loose. That's how you get the bounce right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I definitely appreciate down. that. So no music, yeah, just a um, whole lot of stretching. Straight business. Yep. Oh, straight business. Yeah. Wow. You standing on that? Uh, yeah. You standing on that? I am. Okay. Mike doesn't. That's not true. Or Nick doesn't. Both. Off Mike definitely does not. does not stand on business. <laughs> we won't. We won't go further. How do you think I got this? 
She just saw the other guy. Oh, dude, I, yeah, he probably I looks should have seen perfectly the other fine. Guy. He's, probably, he's probably like taking care of his kids. Yeah, he's or, probably having a jolly old time. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Rob, what do you listen to? What? The other guy was scoring on them all game. Nah. That's, we, we can fact check that. <laughs> do we we don't have anybody you, to pull it up, but. Uh, <laughs> we will get some clips. <laughs> we will get some clips. Rob, what do you listen to pregame? Uh, so, you know, it. You Under know, Shake? Or is that the uh, song? Is it Thunderstruck? Thunderstruck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm, you know, it, it depends on the game. You know, uh, some games, you know, I'll be like a Meek Mill type of guy. Oh, some games, I'll, they I'll love be you in Philly, like, don't they? No, they actually don't. Yeah, no, I was talking to them. Does anybody love him anywhere? <laughs> you know, I think his mom and dad love him at home. Uh, no, that that that, that's, that's <laughs> the might be a stretch. That might be a stretch. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, just okay, so, so what I was saying. I'm either like a Meek Mill type of guy or like a Taylor Swift type of guy, you know? <laughs> Favorite Taylor Swift song? You know, it's it's pretty generic, but uh, You Belong With Me is, it's, you know, it's a classic, you know? Can't go wrong with it. Zaire, you're up, you're up. To me? Yeah, Zaire, you could go. Um, I don't, I don't have, past two games I haven't listened to music. He's too locked. <laughs> I... What I have done is I'm usually taking a pregame nap and then I take my stretch. Do you take pregame dumps? No. You have to. You don't? You no, have don't. what? You don't. I don't. So I... it's just like in your pants like while you're playing? Or... <laughs> yeah. oh. No, that's like. <laughs> it's not? I, I, I just, don't, just don't. That, like, you I... don't use the bathroom? No. Like what I... Ever. <laughs> I do. Uh, well, when I go home after the game, just let, just let it fly. After he eats his wing stop pregame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pre-game, he just said he doesn't pre-game. You pre-game? Pre-game? No, you saw me when I had pre-game. I had that nice little Chipotle burrito steak. Oh, yeah, you did. That is true. Messed it up. And I messed it up on the court. So you just... You were getting messy on the court? Well, no, not, not like that. Well, if you don't take a pre-game dunk, you might, exactly. you might get messy. I, I was getting down and dirty. Oh, I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a bad way of phrasing it. You were getting down and dirty. I, was, I mean, yeah, yeah that's what I was... He was on the ground a couple times yesterday. It was probably... He did get dropped a couple times. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think Jay might be the most hostile person we've had on this podcast. 100%. Get him out of here. He's just like an annoying little gremlin. <laughs> that we gotta, that we gotta, we just a lot gotta of shots with. being thrown in this episode. I like it. Uh, guys, I need to know something about each of you that nobody knows. Give me a secret. What, what does nobody know about you, Nick? Uh, what does no one know? Hmm. Let's be honest. I don't know. What? Let's, Let's be honest. This is not my question. I'm trying to think. Hold up. If anybody else wants to answer first, if you know. <laughs> we could skip him and come back maybe. We, he, yeah, I need well, time. Jay, what? This one kind of goes for two people, but uh, me and Rob had a very long lasting relationship back in the day. And it kind of, it, it, this is what led to our animosity. Yeah, it kind of. Nobody knows about this. Nobody knows about this. What happened? Well, so Jay was just sitting there. <laughs> and I just looked at him and realized how ugly he is. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> really, you really hurt my feelings. You didn't so. put him for the ugliest person on the team, though. Well, yeah, but he already knows that. I, I had to... Wait, who did I pick for that? Actually, no, you did pick him. Yeah, no, I did pick him. So, yeah, it was... So, you, you just had a little something going on, and you were like, wait, he's ugly? Yeah, basically. I just had that, that How did that make you feel? You know, it made me feel... I hit rock bottom. That was the lowest point I've ever been really? in my life. And it led to all my hatred towards the guy behind me. Hey, but it made you a better person overall, right? It indeed did. Yeah. You're welcome. Wow. It led to the uh, saying that don't trust nobody. You say that a lot? No, I don't. I've never heard you say that. It just popped up. Don't trust nobody. Mm. Nick, what's your secret? Come on. Uh, I still don't know. Sayer, what's your secret? Sometimes, you know. <laughs> I like to just be in a dark room and just sit there for hours. <laughs> what do you do while you sit there for hours? I'm staring. Staring at the ceiling? Into darkness. Are you just thinking or you don't even think? You I just don't like think. clear mind. It's like, you know, just lay on the ground. You oh, just you look lay. up. You just said sit. And you I just sit there and I imagine things. Like what? You said you don't think. What are you imagining? <laughs> well, I'm not thinking. I'm just imagining, not thinking. Just oh. two different things. I would. So, so you just, you lay down or you sit down? I'm laying down. I'm just like this. And it, it's pitch black. Pitch black. Are you, are you like 
in like pajamas or like what are you wearing? I'm just like in my underwear <laughs> on a cold floor. <laughs> and you do this all the time. No, Why are you on like, the floor? It's just every now and then. Every every year, one time, once a year, I got once a year, it's you, a ritual. It's like a refresher. It's a ritual. You just do it before the basketball season. Hmm. Wow, I didn't expect that. Like th these are good answers, Nick. What? What's Dude, your I secret? still don't know, bro. Bro, really, there's definitely a lot we don't know about you, Mr. Davidson. What's it gonna be? You know, Nick, everybody tends to think you're a closed off man. Open up to the world. Let yeah, like give know. us something here. I, I, I uh, think I think he's pretty funny. I guess, yeah. yeah. Your secret no. is you're funny? <laughs> I do. You know, I like to crack a joke here and there. That's not a secret. And, uh, That's not a secret. And obviously it is because you just said I'm a closed up guy. You know, Do you're a closed up man to the open world. To us, you know, you're close to a joke. We're... What happened? Can we hear a joke from him? Oh, do you want to? Zaire's requesting a joke. Like a knock knock joke or uh, anything? What do you got? Uh, I don't really have a joke right now. You know, I'm not like a joke teller. I'm not a joke. You are a joke. You're the joke. I was like a funny, I was like a funny comment on a thing. You know what I mean? You're, so you're more of an in the moment kind of guy. Yeah, I'm like in the moment, in the present. You know, I don't just have like a stash of jokes I can just go to. I still don't know if I consider this a secret. I don't know if I don't know a secret. I don't know a secret about myself. Nick, I heard you used to uh, wake up a certain coach at six thirty in the morning and do some two handed dribbling. <laughs> two ball dribbling. Uh, yeah, uh, Coach A, Antonio, Dalguto. We used to work out in the morning. That's not a secret, though. That is not a secret. It. You know that. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. No, it was oh, a different Oh, you didn't coach. know that? That's why you just brought different it up. Different coach. Yeah, showers. John, sh oh. You shower with Coach uh, A? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, you told it. Uh, John Shower. Of course, it's not. It's still not a secret. John showers. My dad's oldest assistant coach. I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. So it is a secret. Nick, can uh, you explain your uh, ankle injury that sidelined you for a big moment? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I went up. I was at one of my dad's practices. You know, I dunked it with two hands. Oh, you're a beast. And, uh, I, thank you very much. Of course. And I landed on it the wrong way, and it hurt really bad. Yeah. And I was shame. out for a month. Well, no one was came back strong. Did this, by the way. He was working out by himself. That's not true. Was this in play? Were you uh, I wasn't or? playing, but there were people in the gym. He was fooling around. I was fooling around. <laughs> you're a fool. Uh, all right, guys. What are our plans looking like for post high school? Nick, obviously, you're going to go play basketball at Davidson University in North Carolina? Yep. North Carolina. Uh, obviously, you excited about that? Very. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay, what are you, you doing? Know, I'm not really sure as of right now. So my only plan right now is to follow uh, my best friend and uh, head to Davidson with him. What's better than the world than following him? There's probably nothing better. Z, how about you? What are you looking for? Uh... I might have to follow him to go to Davidson. I want to play oh basketball my with my God. best friend. Here I, we go. I can't miss this guy. He's that's my point guard. You can't leave that. That's my shooter. Like I can't. I got Mitchell. You can't get hurt or nobody bullies my Davidson. Rob, I'm sure you're not going with him because no one uh, likes you. I like Rob. No, uh, I'm actually not. You what know, are you uh, looking to do? Uh, play basketball at the uh, Division three level, somewhere around here. You're you not know? sure where yet. No, I got a couple schools, but uh, you know, not too sure yet. Why the Division three level? Because that's the only level who recruited me. Rob, you know, once they get to know you, I don't know how much more they're going to want to recruit you. <laughs> if they knew who you really were, yeah. They would cut ties with me? Yeah. Who's Ty? <laughs> Ty Charmbo? Great quarterback. Better than Luke Spang. F&M. Ooh. Ooh. What's F&M stand for? Franklin Marshall. Does you would know that because you were there. Sometimes. What do you yeah. do at Franklin and Marshall? Yeah, what did you do? Yeah, what do you specifically do at Franklin and Marshall? <laughs> Hang out, you know, just go to class. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, you go to class to play your high school? What were you doing there? Academic? Why are you going to class? Why are you going to class on the weekends? Whoa, whoa. Because why wouldn't I go to class on the weekend? You're not trying to get your extracurricular studies in? Well, I guess we're all in Fair point. like different things. Franklin and Marshall. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for questions. Do you have any questions for me? I'm good. Um, is there oh, are you good? Uh, I'm good. You're not good, but. Is there any time we could get a boxing match between you and Ed? I know if he like wants, to, the podcast, if he wants to sign a contract. On the podcast. If he wants crazy. to sign a contract, I'll sign a contract. My last boxing match was streamed for 40 people on Twitch, so I'm used to the bright lights. <laughs> and, uh, what was the result of that? Uh, I, got, I got the win. Uh, uh, knockout. Uh, no decision. Decision. Unanimous? Yeah, unanimous. How many was landed? How many was landed? I don't know. Mm. You'd have to check. The stat sheet. No other questions I for me. I might take the underdog on that one, Ed Gardner. You would. You can you can get up and leave if you want. 
<laughs> no, you can. No, it's okay. There's a door over there. Nice door. All right. No other questions? We're good? Zaire, you look like you're thinking about something. Just mesmerized by your looks, man. I have another question for this guy. Uh, for okay. Nick. Okay. You think you're the interviewer? Um, what was your decision in going to Davidson? Did you really want to be like Stephen Curry? Uh, you know, Steph Curry has uh, gave back a lot to the school. You know, he's helped with facilities and stuff. So that was a factor. But no, I'm not like looking to maybe like, oh, I have to be like Steph Curry. Because, you know, he's the best point guard of all time. So it's big <laughs> shoes to fill. You got to be yourself. That's what you got to be. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then no one will like you. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'll be there to help you. Is Iyer will is Iyer and Jay will be by your side though. So we'll I will. And Rob will be somewhere at a D three college <laughs> where no one likes him. Well, Jay, I hate you. <laughs> I don't even know if we have time for a game, but we're gonna we're gonna maybe get into it. All right, guys, we're bringing back Pictionary. We played this last time. We had four people on. We're playing it again. It's a great time. I don't think they're gonna be able to guess anything, but we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, guys, are you ready? I'm gonna right, start sorry. drawing. So. Is that camera? Let's see. What do I want to draw? All right. I'm drawing upside down. This is kind of crazy. I'm going to hold it like this. All right. Potato. Is it Robbie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is Robbie. How did you That's know? That's not my face shape. Why? You can just tell because of the skeleton of his head. You know, oh. just matches that. That is crazy that you knew that right away. Um... Why did you draw Rob's head like that? that hey, that's, that's kind of what his head looks like. Kind of see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of no, what it, it looks like. I, I I'm, I'm just saying the hair. That's what got me. The fluff. The, the hair. hair the hair. That just looks like a turd. My hair does not go to the right, side well, like that. Sheesh. Somebody else is up now. All right. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, all right. Skateboard. Oh, but something's gonna be on the skateboard. Is it a dog riding a skateboard? It's a dog riding a skateboard. <laughs> Zaire, you're up. <laughs> wow. Zaire, 2-0. Oh. <laughs> Zaire's up 2-0. Oh. You watching? All right. I know you see this. Okay, cool. It's Batman. Lock. No. Keep drawing. Oh, sorry. Batman. Nah, nah, nah. Jellyfish. Table. That's jellyfish. Table. Trash, trash can. can. Nick Cole on a trash can. It, it could be, but no. <laughs> Jane Thomas and Trashkin? How's Michael this going? <laughs> a girl. What's uh, a girl? Oh, a basketball hoop. No. Damn. I'm so confused. Well, I, I'm gonna draw a bubble. I'm gonna draw a bubble. You know, with the great art you teachers. Can't say what with the great, <laughs> no, with no, the no, great no. art teachers we have at Parkland High School, your drawing is very bad. Are those eyes? Oh, Mr. Kierden. <laughs> Let's God. go. Go now. Yes. Nobody yes. The people watching are gonna love this one. Some people in the room may hate this one. Oh, some people? Oh, Multiple no. people. Two lines. Amada Senior Care? No, that doesn't look like Great it. program, by the way, guys. Oh, district. Oh, district. No, a couple people in this room fell short of that, but I uh, thought it would be a great idea. Is that a gold medal? Is that a gold or Jay, silver? I think we actually do have some back at home. Yeah, I actually have one. Have gold. You? Back cool. I actually do have a gold one. Have you ever played and won a gold one? Like, have you ever been like a contributor to winning a gold medal? No, my whole career has been based off uh, his success. I'm, I live in his shadows. Well, that would explain. Found it. Yeah. You're not wrong. Promotion for something that I really want to see. Amada Senior Care. <laughs> no, no. But I really want to see it on this podcast in this room. It would be legendary. All right. Well, let's see it. The sales bulldogs. I got no. it. Eddie versus Nolan boxing match. You are a great guesser. <laughs> <today. laughs> He's as real as Nick. Hey Cole guys, did. let's draw one more thing. Try and guess what I'm drawing. <laughs> Terrible circle. <laughs> Amada senior care. <laughs> 
Yes, it is. I'm out of senior care. That is not a one hand. of the best places <laughs> in the valley for uh, insurance claims. <laughs> insurance claims. That's what it said. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, coming on. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm just gonna put this on. Um, it's definitely been a great episode. I'm really thankful for you guys being here. Uh, except who you, for Rob. Except for Rob. Uh, who do you guys want to see on here next? Not Jay. I want to see the Eddie. He, he was on. Right. Right. I think we made it clear. I think we want to see, see the boxing match. match. Boxing yes. match. Boxing yes. Match. Is right that here. next though? I thought I thought you gotta like train for a little bit for that. Uh, or you just I've been training. Or can we I've been training. Has Ed though? Uh, probably mm -hmm. not, because he's lazy. Yeah. <laughs> give, oh. him, give him some time. Let him, let him be in peak shape. I would also like to see O Block on here. O Block. O Block. Who, tell the viewers who that is. O Block, also known as my my Big O, Owen Rogers. We could get Ishan Patel. Not a very known guy, but a very smart guy. Not very what? known. <laughs> that is not messed up. I know he's, he's nonchalant. He's a popular loan. He is a popular loan. He is a popular loan. All right, well. We might be seeing those guys on here soon. You never know. Thank you. And uh, oh, high recommendation. Oh yeah. Could we get a teacher on here? A specific one. Mr. Roberts. Great We've been addition. in talks with the Rob. We're gonna see if he. With me? No, no, the other <laughs> Rob. The cool Rob. Rob. You're not oh, can we get can we get Big Roosh on here? Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Be a great show. Be you would you come on here with no, me? No, I would not. Yes, you would. He would just make fun. I, 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 I say we get Jude. <laughs> oh, I say we bring we'll, him we'll bring Jesse back too. Bring Jesse back. Bring Michael back. We'll bring the whole, 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 whole family. Then we might as well just go to Susquehanna at that point. <laughs> Rob would just might be well. in the shadows. Rush University. Even more. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And this has been the ninth ever episode of the Parkland Podcast.